Good day YouTube, down on the bricks here. Just showing you my western town today. I don't actually have a name for it, but quite often I just call it Rio Bravo. But this western town, I started collecting some old western sets a couple of years ago. And because there wasn't much available, I just started building my own saloon and hotels and such. Now there's not, I haven't got a lot of detail in in the set like on the roads and and such. There's quite a lot of bricks that already went into this set. There's about 13,000 bricks all up. So I really just with everything else that we collect and build uh, I just have to draw the line somewhere but over time I'll slowly add things to it and um, improve some of the details but I'll give you a bit of a closer look so I had started on my western town when the Lone Ranger sets were released I do have all of the Lone Ranger sets but there's not many here that are still in their original builds the, the train is a stagecoach but most of them are just used for pieces Now most of these buildings are built with open backs as the original western sets were. So what I'm wanting to do here is just give you an overview of, of the whole town and then I'll probably do close up reviews of each of the main buildings. So we'll start then this end here where I have my little Indian camp. Now this is really just th thrown together. I, I haven't put any real time into it. I've just slowly been collecting different torsos and hair pieces and and the like to make make up some Indians. And then on the end of town we have Fort Legorado. Now I've actually modified this this set a little. Originally it, it comes in separate pieces where you can put all the walls together. I didn't sort of really like that idea so I've just built it as a single structure and I've also increased the height of it a little bit as well. But by building it as a single structure, it allowed me to put these walkways right around. And we've got a sale of some weapons going on there. Okay, so down here, these buildings are from an original set, I think it's called Gold City Junction, um, but the bank's pretty much the same I think as what it was. I did change this building here, it was the general store, I've actually turned it into the newspaper. So there they are from behind. You can see a little printing press in there. And across the road we have the blacksmith. Which is right next door to the livery. There's all many, manner of going ons in there. You can you can stable your horses, buy cattle. You can rent some coaches. 
by feed and then, a, and then across the road we have the sheriff and the jailhouse. This was sort of a bit of a combination parts used from the Lone Ranger jailhouse and that's it from the other side there we have the train station Next door to that is a general store. I'll show you the other side. So there it is from the other side. Now from the general store, we go across the road to the post office. So there's a post office downstairs and he just lives upstairs with his wife. Okay and they're right next door to the saloon. And then we have the bank, which was just basically made up from the set Colby City Showdown from Lone Ranger, I think it was called. So that was just like a corner building, but just sort of made something a little bit different there. We actually think that looks, looks really good. And then on the end of town, we have the hotel. So this is where they come to have a feed, you can find some accommodation when you're passing through. Now as I said all these buildings are open at the back, so I'm wanting to do a review of the hotel, the saloon and the livery just to give you a better better look inside at the detail inside but what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you behind the hotel now just so you can sort of have a sneak peek I don't know if I can do it I'll actually try and get in here where you can look down the street from the entrance I think that looks pretty cool.
Okay, well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, that'd be fantastic. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate that very much. And if you'd like to see closer reviews of these buildings, please let me know. And I'll shoot some video for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.